Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers. I'm going to welcome any new viewers. So like always, if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's video. You can also get that list on the community tab. So what we're going to be doing is a project. I saw it at Hob uh, not Hobby Lobby, I'm sorry. I saw it at Michael's and I just thought it'd be cool to make one myself. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over the items needed for this project. So let's get to it all right so the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need something to make the head of the venus flytrap and i originally got these little half circles from walmart they're about seven dollars a piece you can go to um five below or even walmart and maybe get a ball that's big and it's cheaper but I was originally going to go with this, but while I was at Hobby Lobby today, I saw these, which I feel is going to be the right size for my project. You don't have to go with this. You can go with if you already bought the things. I picked that or a ball, like I said, but I picked these. So you're going to need two of these, and you're going to need some paint. I have picked Irish from Home Decor, which is a light green. And then I picked a darker green called Grotto from also from Home Decor. And then I picked my Snow White from Waverly. And I forgot to mention, it would not hurt to use red for the lips of the creature. All right. You're going to also need some skewers. So I got those. You're going to need a pool noodle. This is all on camera, right? Yeah. You're going to need a broom handle. I said cardboard and you can still do cardboard, but I wanted to try to use these little wooden pieces because they're already cut out. And I think that'd be cool for the teeth, but you can just cut out cardboard for the teeth. And it, if you want to do extras, you can do like leaves and stuff, but I'm not going to. So let's get to it, y'all. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. You're also going to need some glue and paint brushes. Paint brushes. All right, y'all. So my cousin's helping me with this. So I'm going to let her go ahead and do the first step, which is painting the head of the monster. So let's get on it. All right. So she's going to take, I think I said it was called Irish, the light green, and she's going to paint the two halves the two foam halves.
All right, now that this dried, and it took about 20 minutes to do both sides looking like this. I might even go back and do another coat. I have not decided, but I'm going to paint the rim of this red. That is the next step. So, just do that. And it doesn't have to be perfect because this is supposed to be a Halloween -y theme thing. So if you get it a little messy, that just makes it more creepy looking, you know? <coughs> you okay? Bless you. Yeah. I was coughing. Still came out, bless you. Don't want to tell you. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna let it dry and see what it looks like to decide if we need to do another coat. All right, so as you can see, I did the inside. Now, don't get me wrong, this rim, I will add more red paint to just to make sure I, it pops right. I'm not, I was debating on painting the outside another layer, but I like the patchiness. I think it works really well for this project. But if you don't, you are more than welcome to paint until you're satisfied. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this grotto, which is a darker green, and I'm going to paint the inside of the form. And I'm sure you could hear my mom in there complaining about kids saying they want to go home when we invite them over. So, sorry. <coughs> so. Now... <coughs> I originally picked this color. <coughs> you okay, Danny? Mm -hmm. I originally picked this color to do like little grooves in the top and the bottom to make it look like it has some indents. Pause it. Alright, sorry about that. I originally picked this color to do little marks, like lines on the front to make it look like it's a groove, but I decided I might mess that up. If y'all still want to do that, y'all can do it, but. I'm feeling this, even though it does look like a watermelon. I am feeling this. I am happy with it. So, I'm just going to paint and see where it takes me. And I've had three different ideas on how I can put this together. And when we get to it, I will show you the different ideas. And y'all can decide how y'all want to do it. And then I'm going to show you how I am going to do it. So, hold on. Y'all aren't going to be able to see this because i got to make sure I get a good angle for me to paint. So, but it all just depends on <coughs> how you like your stuff to come out. But... <coughs> Sorry, we got the coughs here.
Oh, and I know I said it yesterday, but I am so sorry. Apparently, I lost the whole day. I thought today was... Thursday. I thought today was Thursday. And it is Friday. So, I will not be able to... I said that wrong. <laughs> I thought today, the day I'm actually doing the project was Thursday. And it's actually Friday, the day that it was actually supposed to be posted. So I'm posting this on Saturday instead of Friday. And I am so sorry about that. Which I will t I've will already told y'all. So I don't know how I lost that day. Apparently I'm getting old. Alright y'all, so we're moving on to the teeth. We're just, like I said, you can take styrofoam, I mean cardboard, and cut it out with a triangle any way you want and make it. But I have some wood, little wood triangles, sorry, that I'm going to do it with. And Danny, your chest is as far up as you can bring it. Because I got your head cut off. But we're going to use those to make these. So we're going to paint them white. Go ahead, Danny Boo. Now, I'm going to tell you, like I say on every video, I want you to be creative and have fun, but you don't have to paint them white. You could paint them yellow, brown, whatever you think is going to look good, but I wanted the teeth to be white, so just have some fun with it. And please ignore the noise I'm making because I am touching up the red on the head. So.
All right, as you can see, these are not the same colors and I wanna match them. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this the same color I painted that so we can get this going. So that's all you gotta do. All right, so you're just going to paint this, like I said, and get it to try to be the same color. You don't have to do this. If you don't mind it being the two different colors, that's <coughs> fine, <coughs> but I don't want it. I just think it'll look better the same color. So I'm going to paint it, and then, of course, I'm going to have to let it dry because I have nowhere else to put it before I do the back side of it too. And then we'll find out if this actually works because I've never painted this before. So we will see. I'm going to let this dry and then we will see if it works because I don't know. And if not, I guess it's just going to be the color it is. All right, y'all. All right, so <coughs> the pull noodle is longer <coughs> than the broomstick. Thank you, broomstick handle. So I'm going to cut. I checked it with it. This should be about right. Even if it's a little short, it's fine. But I'm going to cut off this little excess area because I don't <laughs> need it. There you go. Look how easy that was. Yes. And now we're going to move on to sec ne the section. <coughs> the next section. The next piece. <laughs> the, next. the next part. <laughs> I can't talk. Where I'm going to put the broomstick handle in here. So, okay. so I'm just going to take this and I'm going <coughs> to shove it in there. I don't remember it being this hard to do. No. Not hard. <coughs> there we go. Did I get it all the way in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there you go. And now it's nice and sturdy. It's not gonna flop. All right, so I'm gonna try something. Hopefully, it comes out looking good. We're gonna add teeth. Like I said, I'm gonna use these wooden triangles. Y'all can use cardboard if you don't have this. And I'm just gonna take hot glue <coughs> and I'm going to stick it on. Exactly. Stick it on. And hope this works. Good. Like you five people. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm not gonna yeah. do just like yeah, across. Good. I wanna kinda give it a little bit of depth. So I'm gonna stagger them. That's good. And hope this comes out looking okay. That um, almost looks like that one. You can push. It almost looks like the other what? Venus fly trap. Oh, okay, so I was showing them. I got this idea actually from a Halloween decoration, decoration I saw last year at Michael's. It was a $200 it should, Venus flytrap Halloween seen. decor piece. And it doesn't look exactly the same, so. We're going to make it like the same. We're oh. making this for a fraction of the cost. This piece I got right here, the head, I actually spent a little money on. I went to. Did I get this at Michaels? Yeah, Michaels. I was thinking Hobby Lobby. And um, I saw this and I thought, why not? Because it was the right size. But like I said, you can do other things like a, a carvable pumpkin that's a circle. Um, 
a basketball or soccer ball. You can do the smaller things like I showed. And it's cheaper. But even paying what I paid this, I paid like $13 for these. So that's $27 I paid for both of these. That's still a lot cheaper than $200. All right, I think that's going to be enough. I think that's... I might add maybe back here just to give a little bit more. But I don't think I want to go any further. You only so. put five of them. I know. I got three more. That's why I said I might do like this. Yeah, we have eight a little on bit the more. top and eight on the bottom. Because I don't, I don't want to go too far across. I probably could have put them closer together. But I'm just trying to get a feel for how I want it to look. The I don't know what this is. Don't let me lie to you. That's the bottom. Does it really matter? Is yeah, I can use a ball or something. Or something. <laughs> like like Mikey said, or something. Or you can use what she uses. <laughs> you could. <laughs> These little boys are or smart. Or you can not use these. Yeah. not, guys. Also made a little tiny one. Okay, now it's in the camera. <laughs> Alright, so there's my teeth. Ooh, that's I think cool. it looks pretty cool, don't y'all? Yeah. yeah. You want to switch Look it up. Look how heavy it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so now I'm going to do the other side, and then we'll put it all together and see how it works out. So. Pause it. It's going to be... Alright, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to try something. I'm going to take these skewers, and I'm just going to... Snap them. Break it off. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that it's in place. Well, not just that it's in place, Annie, but that it holds together. Yeah. So, not a hundred. I've never done this before. This was just an idea I had. Oops, that went out. No. Okay, let me check this out before I go any further. That looks cool. Might be too, um, where's my scissors at? Uh, Hold on, y'all. I gotta get over here because I can't really. I think these might be too long with what I'm gonna do, so. Give me a second. Let me try to close up that mess up I did. Okay. I'm gonna perfect. cut a little bit more of the skewer off. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. I just want to make sure I get this right. making a mess y'all. <laughs> so am I. No, All right. So, so now we're going to try hand. to Hold it. attach these to it. Right. I'm going to need help. I'm coming. Maybe you hold that. This front. Hold it up. Hold it up. No, the front, Danny, the front. Hold the front up. Yeah, just like that. Don't move the back. Try not to. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to do this different. I'm sorry. <coughs> okay. You want to do it in the top? Yep, I'm going to do the top first. It's unbalanced. Oh. 
Alright, now let's <coughs> try it. I'm doing a video right now. I'm sorry, y'all. This is. a little difficult y'all. But they don't want to go in. I'm trying not to tear it You're up. You're gonna break the tape. Okay, it's <laughs> not perfect. But you can see a little bit. But I think it works. Yeah. And it's got it's a little bit of a bouncy. Like that. It's All right. cute. So now the last thing is we're gonna glue it to the pole. Yes, the pole. And then I'll fix any little spots I have like that. So now we're just gonna take that is really uneven now. It's rolling away. I got it. <laughs> this got is it. a fun product though. Yeah. I'm gonna add glue. It's rolling over. Okay. To this. Bring it over here, Danny. Okay. Bouncy mountain. <laughs> and we're just gonna set it on there. <laughs> there you go. What? And there it is. The Venus fly trap. I will probably do a different kind of glue because the hot glue is melting the. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. <laughs> yeah, the hot glue is melting the. Um, the um, um, pulling it off. Yeah, pulling it off. So I'll use a different glue on that. Yeah. But you saw what it's supposed to do. So. Yeah, it bounces. <laughs> All right. Alright y'all, there it is. I used, I ended up taking flex glue, which I have to let sit and harden. But this is it. I think it came out looking really good. Like I said, you can always use leaves and vines to add more to it. But I am ridiculously happy with this. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel grow. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.